What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Golfing Dad video. I'm here with my main man and my best golfing buddy, my little boy, Tanner. Wait, say hi. Hi. This is the first video that he's like in in with me. You've seen his golf swing on my Instagram and on my channel, but now we're doing something a little fun. 2020 has been a chaotic hell of a year, but something fun happened this year. If you follow me, you'll know that I got my first hole in one at Scally's this summer, and Tanner got his first hole in one on the mini golf course, putt putt, this summer as well. So what are we gonna do today, Tanner? What are we gonna build? What are we gonna build? Golf tee. Golf tee holders, he's right. I got, I got some two by six wood that I cut into little squares, okay? To make them super fancy, I'm gonna blow a torch them, give them that rustic <laughs> look. We're gonna use some sweet teas, and essentially what we'll have in the end of this is a little display holder for our balls that we don't have to pay for because I had everything here, okay? So you can make it nice and easy. So, to get started, first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my time, off camera, and I'm gonna to torch the wood. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to torch the wood. I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. in from outside and I have a small little kitchen blowtorch that I use for food but I obviously use it for removing shafts and club heads and other various projects so if you look I mean this turned out really pretty I mean this is gonna be the front of one of the displays the top this will be the other front here Some gorgeous little patterns and he's showing you the tea we're gonna use okay so now that we are burned and set, next thing we have to do is we have to find the middle, okay? Then what you wanna do is, after you find the middle, you're gonna drill a hole. Um, about a half inch deep with the drill, okay? So I'm gonna turn off the camera and get that set up. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, that was quick, I'm back. I just used a quick roller and I just marked it's really hard to see, but I marked a little dot there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna drill in about a, I don't know, like I said, about a half an inch. So let me adjust this so you can see a little bit better of what I'm doing here. There we go. So I'm gonna take my drill, line up with the pre-made dot, go to about a half an inch. <laughs> You kind of want to be careful here. You don't want to make a big mess. You don't want to drill into your kitchen table. Okay, your wife will have a condition if you drill through your kitchen table. Okay, that I can promise you. And readjust. Ah. Ah. All right, the drill. I'm gonna go dump the shavings away. Be right back. Now, next thing you're gonna do is, I got my holes drilled, okay? My T fits in there beautifully, but I want them to stay. So I'm gonna use a two pot, two, two pot, <laughs> a two part Gorilla Glue epoxy, okay? I'm gonna up here so you can see it. This is the same epoxy I use whenever I put new club heads and shafts together in the garage playing around, and it's been great on the golf course, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna do the great job of holding a golf ball to a T. I'm gonna epoxy the tee into the base and then the ball on top of the tee, okay? It's very important oh, that you <laughs> use some cardboard to put this on, okay? You gotta squeeze Ooh. as best you can. Squeeze so hard. Oh, it's tough to do. Wow. Equal parts of both onto some cardboard because this stuff will tear up your table and whatever else. And then you want to mix all those equal parts together, okay? Just mix it up. I'm using a toothpick. Um, you could have used a second, you know, another golf tee if you wanted to. Then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna let Tanner put the tees in after I get this all mixed up, okay? So about 30 seconds. Okay, Tanner, you ready? Eyeballs, it's like eyeballs. It's like monster eyeballs. All right, put a tee in there, buddy. Put one tee in there, straight in. Good. Well, there you go. Awesome. One. Good. 
Second tee. Push it down. Okay, two. Now, fun part. Time to get the ball on top. Okay, I'm gonna go with mine first. I'm gonna get some epoxy here. Put it up on the tee. A little bit more. All right, one done. I'm gonna move that out of the way very carefully. Now I'm gonna do Tanner's next. Okay, so repeat, I'm gonna take some epoxy and I'm just filling up the top of the T. Okay, you know how there's a divot, the little divot dunk, whatever you wanna call it, a little hold dip in your T to hold your golf ball? That's what I'm using. I'm getting enough epoxy to fill that up, okay? And it's very important that you line your golf ball up the way you want it to read, okay? <laughs> so Tanner's is written the first hole in one. <laughs> Scally's 15 on the back of the hole, but I want first hole in one showing. So I'm making sure that the front of my base shows the front of the words I want to be seen first. And we're done. Okay? All right, guys, so here they are. Two finished DIY golf ball displays. Okay? Made them for free. I mean, tees already had. Wood already had. Epoxy already had. I have a drill, obviously. You know, things I already have in my collection of tools and in the garage. Simple project to do. Have creativity and be fun and spontaneous and do it. Me and my three-year-old did this tonight in like a half hour. It was fantastic, fun little father-son project. And I couldn't wait to get these balls displayed. We've had them since the summer and it's Christmas time. So I've been lacking. So it was really nice to finally get these uh, all completed and done. I'm really happy and really stoked on the way they came out. They look really good, really nice. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, the golfing dad 62 and stay tuned for more projects, more golf, and more family fun, guys. Take care. Be safe.